sir. I, I just want you to know that I have nothing to do with all this. I don't even know this girl. I Shut have no up. idea. Don't make it worse. You've excelled yourself in less than six hours. So the only piece of advice I have for you is keep your big mouth shut for the next three hours. Wait, did I start by the end? This is typical. I always do that. Okay, let's get back to a few hours ago. <laughs> This is where everything started. This is me, Tom. You're probably wondering what I'm doing in the middle of nowhere. Oh, family issue. I left home because it was time for me to take care of my life. How could we end up here? All this because of a of a... Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. I'm an actor. Well, at least I'm trying to be one. All this because of a watermelon. Really? Come on, this really sucks. Hey, come on, please, come. Hey, stranger. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I have been waiting for you for at least four hours. Uh, I'm Tom. Nice to meet you. I'm Amy. It's nice to meet you, Tom. So, what do you do for a living, Amy? Uh, well, I, um, I work in cosmetics. Oh, well, tell me more. Well, I mean, I guess you could you could say I'm kind of a makeup artist. Oh, really? Oh, that's great. Uh, what branch in particular? Film? Theater? No, no, not so lively. Fashion? Photography? Something a little bit more stoic. Uh, still lives? Close. D dead people. I put makeup on dead people. <laughs> 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 so what about you, Tom? What brings you to L.A.? Oh, well, actually, I have an audition today for a TV series. Oh, awesome. A series? It's a pilot. It's the story of a deaf mute who solves police investigations with uh, his three-year-old companion, Rototo. A beaver. <laughs> it's rather promising. Of course. My mom thinks I'm a real wacko because I'm trying to pursue my Hollywood dream. What do you think, Tom? That this ad for adult diapers would propel you to stardom? That, that there'd be Sunday tea time with Tom Cruise? <laughs> no. Sunday is every Sunday is sewing classes, so get started on that water lily again. She, she really is a charming woman, you know? Anyway, what are you doing in the middle of nowhere? My brother Joe died in combat in Iraq. And the army, they repatriated his body to the San Francisco base, but his last will was to be buried in Los Angeles. So, I'm taking him there. I stopped because I, I just, I needed company, you know? I, he's not very talkative. Your brother? Somebody's been driving too fast. French. Yes. What? You're an actor, right? Oh. <laughs> well, just pretend that you're a French movie director and you're in LA scouting for your next right, movie. Okay? Uh, I'll start. Good morning, officer. Good morning, miss. Sir? Do you know the speed limit on this particular road, miss? Yes, I'm, I'm sorry, officer, but Can listen. Can I see your I license and registration, please? Officer, 
I'm taking Mr. De Finis here back to LAX. He's a very famous French movie director, and we're already really late, so. Uh, James Le Fromage, officer. <laughs> He's saying hello. <laughs> you say you're French? Tour Eiffel. Baguette. Ce n'est pas votre jour de chance aujourd'hui, hein? Ma'am? You need to step out of the car, please, with your hands out. You too, Mr. Joker, out of the vehicle, please. Hands, let me see your hands. <laughs> hands, now! Open the trunk. What the fuck? Here, here, tie his hands and his feet and we'll throw him in the trunk. I'm totally insane! What? Oh my God. You are a chicken. serial killer of some sort of- Listen, I need you to trust me, okay? I trust will you? I've known you less than an hour and you've already fucking, you've killed a person and you knocked out a cup. You're right. There's never gonna be enough room for two bodies in there. Take his badge, his transmitter. It'll slow him down. We need to get out of here. No, I'm, 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 not, I'm not going with you. Fine, do whatever you want, but I don't want to be here when he wakes up. minutes since you last called me a psychopath. Don't touch me! Don't fucking psycho! Don't fucking touch I wanna get out. Just just let me let me get out! It's not what you think. Not what I think. Are you saying you're not some kind of sociopath who kills people as soon as they figure that out? You're actually a fucking sociopath. It's Joe in the trunk. My brother. <sighs> Your brother? Come on. Joe died two weeks ago in Iraq. They repatriated his body to San Francisco. That, that was all true. But my mother, she couldn't afford to pay to transport the body to L.A. and, I mean, the government refused to pay for it because he was a deserter when he was killed. Wait, 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 wait a second. You mean to say you stole a body from a U.S. Army base? They were just gonna cremate him. Put him in a box and send him to my parents? I mean, can you imagine what kind of shock that would have been for them? A box with a sticker on it saying, Here's your son, he sacrificed himself for a nation, yet he's still a coward. Therefore, we send him back to you. Here's the bill, thank you very much, have a great day. I promised my father I would bring his son back. No matter what. Well, why me though? Why did you stop? I don't know. I thought I could trust you. I mean, I'd been driving and crying nonstop for two hours. I needed someone to talk to. And I saw you. You promised not to slit my throat? Should I remove any sharp objects nearby? Come on, um, we should get out of here. I don't want you to break the legs of any other policeman. Here we are, Hollywood, the city where all your dreams come true. I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. I knew I'd rock this audition. After this crazy ride, I was more than ready to play a cop. It's time to leave Amy and Joe. Are you sure you'll be all right? I mean, can you handle this on your own? Yeah. 
gosh, I'm positive. I called my father. He's going to come soon, so. Good luck on your audition. Go, go, go. And thanks for the drive. Uh, for most of it, I mean. Hi, I am, I'm Tom Baxter. I was expected at 4 p.m. for the Jimmy and Rototo, the Beavering Away Beaver audition. Oh, yes. We've been expecting you. Uh, let me have you fill out this form. Right here. Thank you. And, um, did you bring a suit? Yes, uh, they're all in here. Okay, you just fill out that form then. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Why don't you just go ahead and change? We don't have dressing rooms here. So just change right there. So right here? Okay. Oh, uh, I left my script in the car. I'll be right back. Okay, be brave, Tom. This might be the biggest audition of your life. Officer Clifford will be very happy to see you. He got away with a broken knee, a real miracle. Anyhow, you'll be spending what, the next 15, 20 years in jail? Showtime, baby. Thanks. We've been looking for her for the last two days. And you are? Agent Felton, CIS. I'll be taking over for hey, you. Hey, 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 easy, my boy. Where do you think you're going? What is your name, my boy? It's Officer Crank. Very well, Officer Crank. Here's how this is gonna go down. We'll start by releasing the arm of a federal agent. Or I'll have your ass out on the street before you can say... Watermelon. Now, the NCIS warmly thanks you for this nice catch, but we suggest you return to your vehicle and continue solving crossword puzzles, as this case goes far beyond your abilities. She's all yours. <clears throat> Thanks again, Officer Frank. Mr. Baxter? Mr. Baxter? It's now or never for your audition, I mean. No, seriously, we only have the Bieber till 4.30. So here we are, sitting in the car of an FBI agent who thinks I'm the accomplice to this crazy girl. I knew leaving home would change my life, but I couldn't imagine I would spend the rest of it in jail. Sir, uh, I, just, I just want you to know that I don't, I don't even know this girl. You know, the dead body- Shut I'm up! You're sought after by the US Army, the Highway Patrol, and LAPD. You've excelled yourself in less than six hours. So the only piece of advice I have for you is keep your big mouth shut for the next three hours. Obviously, this is not the FBI office. Hi, Dad. This guy is not even hey, an Bob. FBI agent. Who's your, uh, Mr. I almost pissed in my pants friend? Tom, this is my dad. Dad, this is Tom. Uh, Amy always had a head start. There's a station about a mile away from here. Can you walk? Yeah. I'm waiting for you in the car. Whoever these guys were, they made one mistake. Tom, I don't know how to thank you. Um, by promising you won't pick me up if you ever see me hitchhiking again. <laughs> Promise. So here I was, alone in the desert, again. Amy! Amy, wait! Wait, wait! It's not, it's not your bag! 
they bought the whole story? Yeah, we're safe. He's a good guy. Get the backpack? Oh yeah, it's on the back seat. What was in this bag? It doesn't really matter. I just think that Amy, that's even her real name, is still looking for me right now. But hey, I could be anyone and anywhere. Fuck! After all, I'm an actor, right? In the beginning, I felt totally embarrassed. I thought, why me? What have I done to deserve this? I wouldn't go out, I wouldn't see anyone, I lost my wife and my job. And then one day, when I thought I had hit rock bottom, I made the most important decision of my life, to live with him. My doctor recommended soak it up, and my life changed. No more accidents, no more smells, and now it is your turn to live with it. Dare change. Diapers for adults. Elected best absorbent in 2012 for people aged 85 to 95.